Hello and welcome to the Golden Ribbon tutorial. Coming to you with another infographic. We're looking at the Snake and Ladders infographic, as seen in the preview. We have our canvas, which is 1,700 by 1,700. We have our colors on our right hand side. That is as usual, and we have this box here to help us with the alignments. So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna zoom up here and we're gonna duplicate this box. Then I'm gonna select this left handle. I'm going to scale it on the x axis. Then we're going to move it out, zoom out with my scroller. Hit D for the color dropper. You can find the color dropper down here. So let's select D again. Select brown so we have a difference in color. Then I'm going to zoom up again. I want these two to align together. So I'm going to hit Control Shift and A to go to Align and Distribute dialog box. So I can go to Object, Align and Distribute. I'm going to select the two of them, making sure that the pink box is selected last. I'm uh, making sure that the relative two is on last selected. We want to align this left edge with the right edge of this anchor point. So we're going to look for it and it should say align left edges of object to right edge of anchor, anchor being the pink, and it should align them together. Then we're going to select the two of them holding down shift I'm going to group them and you can go to object and group control and G I'm just going to hit control and G to group them good so by grouping them we put the two objects together uh, but they keep the individual properties and can be separated later however if we select a color you'll notice that both of them will change according to that color okay so we're just going to zoom out let's move it in i'm going to place it about here i'm going to duplicate this three times good then similarly to what we did with the brown and the pink we want these two to align so we're going to make sure that this the last one is aligned first and we're going to align left edges objects to right anchor make sure this is selected last right edges to left anchor Make sure this one is selected last, right edge to left anchor. Then I'm going to ungroup this by going to object, ungroup. Then I'm going to rotate this. I'm going to hold, I just rotate, you click one more time to get the rotational handles and you hold control to get the increments. We want it a perfectly 180 degrees. I'm going to stretch this across. It doesn't have to be perfect, but this looks okay. Then I'm just going to select all of these. I'm going to ungroup them, hide all of them, and group. Good. Next, in fact, don't group them. Next, just gonna select our browns. Good. And we're going to go and we're gonna change these browns to guides. So we first we're gonna go into object, object to guides, or you can hit shift and G. Good, and our guides are shown here. Just before we change up the guys, actually, let's check something. Let's group them and align them. That's what I was supposed to group them for. And we're just gonna make sure the blue is selected. Then we're gonna center this in the middle. Then we're gonna ungroup them and hit Shift and G, making sure only the brown is selected. Shift and G. Good, so we have our boxes right here. Everything should be aligned okay. Good. Next, we're just gonna duplicate this. Ah, should have duplicated the brown, you know. Well, let me just wire this copy. Y G. 
again my apologies then I'm just gonna duplicate this these one two three four and we want these to snap to the grids so we want the bounding boxes to snap to the grids to the guides sorry so we're gonna just make sure our snap tool is selected then make sure snap tool to bounding boxes we're gonna select the corners as well as the edges of the box to make the snapping easier and that snaps just fine then we're gonna hit control and V to get back our brown bar select it here and we're gonna duplicate this cut it select it once more hit shift and G to turn it to a guide right then we're gonna duplicate this carry it down control V once more let's make sure it links up with the bottom edges so we're gonna select align top edges the bottom edge of the anchor hit shift and G then we're gonna duplicate these carry them down make sure that they bind to the boxes and this looks about right and we have our boxes here all aligned then every other one we're gonna select every other one and we're gonna turn it white then I'm going to just randomize it a bit change the colors of some of them good and we get this nice colorful grid for our boxes then we're going to add our background stripes so first we need to view the ruler for this so we need to go view mm, show and hide rulers and from this now we can create a 45 degree angle guide so we can do this by looking where the x and the y axis meet going to the top making sure you see these two arrows bring our cursor click and drag down good we're going to bring it down so it snaps about the middle that looks good then we're going to select our Bezier tool with B and let the snapping guide us with this and we're going to select the two of them and go to path intersect you can also hit control shift and star Good. we're going to carry this guide down because we're not quite finished with it just a notch down then I'm gonna duplicate the slide if I can duplicate it nope well if I can't duplicate it let's just create the next one from the corner good make it like it drops right here and then we're gonna go to our bezier too you can select B or go to your bezier on your toolbox let the guides guide us let the guides guide us and we're going to create this parallelogram select this blue exit our attribute and our exit our align and distribute and then hit control shift and F to go to our fill and stroke dialog box so you can go to path object sorry and go to fill and stroke then we're going to make sure hue saturation and lightness HSL is selected and we're going to increase the lightness a tad we're going to drop it with our hierarchical tools and lift it up one then we're going to create two more guides 45 degrees and just up slightly create one last one a thinner one snaps okay that's a good snap good then we're going to go to our bezier tool and repeat the process create a parallelogram use a dropper tool to select this blue drop it with our hierarchical tools and lift it up a tad 
Then let's take off the guy so we can better see what's happening. We shift and your logic bar. Good. So they're a bit out of place and they got strokes. So I'm going to right click and remove the strokes off of these two. Duplicate the background twice. I'm going to hold shift and select the first one, parallelogram that we created. And we're going to intersect it with control shift and star. I'm going to do the same with this one. Intersect with control shift and star. And that will crop them into this box. You can go to path and intersection for that. So we have our general, just saving this, have our general layout. It looks good. Now we can start adding some of the icons from before. But before we add them, we're going to create some of these icons. So first up, let's carry them up. Carry up these icons, which evidently I don't seem to have open. So open recent, snake and leather icons of SVG. You'll get these also. And I'm just gonna demonstrate how to make this house as well as how to make this snake quickly as quickly as possible. So with this house now we're simply gonna go and create a rectangle about this size we do. Good. Then we're gonna select it, click it, and we get our handles. We're gonna go to our rotational and skew handles. I'm gonna select the left skew, and it's gonna skew it like this. Good, then I'm gonna hit control and C. I'm winging it with the angle. You know, you can obviously get a better angle because you're gonna spend time on doing this but because this is a tutorial and I have a limited amount of time I'm just gonna skew it like on the fly I'm gonna duplicate this and invert it and because we have a snap to one already very useful when it when you have it on apart from when you don't need it then it can be a pain I'm gonna select them I'm gonna select these two colors also whoops Good. Then we're going to create this rectangle right here, or this triangle. Select the both of them. Let's take off our snap tool. Now we don't need it. Good. I'm going to select this deep red. Then I'm going to duplicate these two. Then I'm going to combine them with Control Shift and Plus sign, or you can go to Path union or combine will do it also so we have it right here and we're gonna select this now and control shift and difference and that will give us this I'm gonna lift up slightly and put it underneath so we have our roof good next we're gonna create a rectangle change it a color so that we can see what we're doing duplicate it grab the squash or scale handle for the y-axis scale this down by selecting all of them Hold down control and shift to get a proportional scale duplicate this and put this up here change the color to red we want this to take the slope of the roof, so we're going to change this to a path. Go to path, object to path, or control shift and C. When you double click it now, you'll get notes. And we can put it on the slide. Lastly, we need the shadow. And I'm just going to duplicate this, select this, and intersect it with Control Shift and Star. You'll find that in Path Intersect. And we're going to drop it underneath the house. Good. I 
last but not least we're going to add a small bevel uh, I'm winging the bevel I know it's not equal but because I'm stripped for time don't want to make this tutorial too long good set this red side and we have our house I think I'm going to be obliged to use this one good so we're going to have our house and we're just going to place it in a nice spot right about here zoom it down a bit good our house about here I'm going to open up the preview file, snakes and ladders to infographic and just paste this out out here and then we're just going to copy and paste the majority of these items so we pretty much got the grids and the guides sorted out and you've got the logo so this next part is just me arranging it so that you I find it looks a little bit nicer yep, you totally don't need to get involved with this but I'm just adding it so that it looks nicer good add this to the corner Good, let's so add our snake. And our first player piece. Our second player piece. Mm, good. Now let's grab you. this to the KQ carry you up let's see how it goes and our dice and our gel to go here uh, dice to go at the edge of here and also here and last have our jail suit let's make it a burgundy this green guy a blue Change the gel to here. 
get rid of this graphic mode. I am using the graphic for the typeface, the main typeface for, for the numbers using not league I'm using a freshman good the last adjustment and just put this up here good so we have well we have pretty much everything six right here okay so this is the tutorial finished thanks for watching I hope you gain something from it just add my logo it's a good way for you to learn about guides the snapping tool and the alignment and distribution dialog box in ways of sorting out your elements so until I see you again you take care get up and design a new dawn later